with the area's most accurate forecast, Storm Tracker 59. This weekend was very typical of November. A lot of sunshine, temperatures in the 50s, and so far we've been pretty similar to that today. Welcome back to 59 News. Meteorologist Mike Slifer, our fall countdowns are continuing. Everybody getting excited about the holidays at the end of the week. I have been talking about my Black Friday shopping list all morning long. I think Katie is sick and tired of hearing me talk about my plans to buy some goodies coming up this Friday. Of course, we're three days away from Thanksgiving, four days away from Black Friday, and that puts us at 32 days away from the official start of winter. It seems so far this fall we have had Plenty of tastes of winter, and of course, we ended everything with that ice storm last Thursday. Not looking at anything quite like that in our future for some time, which is great news. We do have to deal with some rain today, though, and let me explain how this is all going to work. We've got a stationary front to our north. A weak wave of low pressure is forming along that front and moves in as we get a little later into the day. It is knocking on our doors right now. I think it finally moves through over the next few hours, and that's when we start to see some showers fire up. Behind these two little systems that we see here in this weak low and the trailing cold front to the north and west, we will start to usher in colder air. We do expect that to take place overnight tonight, and that's going to allow for some wintry mix to start off our Tuesday. I really don't think we'll see much accumulation, if any at all. Maybe a couple of slick spots here or there for the morning commute, but still not looking too likely. And part of that just has to do with the fact that we warm things up today. Forecasting a high of about 55 degrees, becoming breezy later on. Spotty showers in the afternoon give way to steadier rain this evening, and that will transition over to a bit of a wintry mix through the overnight hours. Again, Again, not anticipating to see too many issues out of this, but it will definitely bring some cooler conditions to the two Virginias. Forecasting a high of 39 tomorrow, and then we stay in the 40s all week long. Thursday, 40 degrees. That to me right there says it is perfect weather to hang out indoors with friends and family and enjoy some mashed potatoes and gravy, some turkey, all of that great, delicious comfort food. And then for Black Friday, we do warm up a little bit. You'll still need the jackets, but I think you can leave the rain gear at home. So let's walk through the timing of this system here today. Showers begin in the evening and then we see a steadier rain after dinner time. That lingers on into the beginning of the overnight hours. We transition briefly to snow through the mountains and maybe even into the middle of the morning tomorrow. We might be able to squeeze out just a little bit more moisture. Things do start to improve tomorrow evening. A few more flurries across the high peaks totals maybe an inch at most. I really don't think that we will see much accumulation out of the system though. And then after that, things are looking dry. Travel conditions on Wednesday looking good, especially south. If you're heading north, you might see a few flakes along the Maryland and Pennsylvania borders, but I still don't think we'll see a ton of activity, at least near us on Wednesday, expecting drier conditions. Thursday, of course, is Thanksgiving, 40 degrees with some sunshine, 44 on Friday, and then the rain is back on Saturday. So if you're doing Christmas shopping on on Black Friday, then you can spend the rainy Saturday inside wrapping and eating all of the Thanksgiving leftovers. That to me, Katie, sounds like a wonderful weekend. Yeah, Mike, my stomach's growling now that you started naming off all the comfort food favorites for Thanksgiving. That's all I'm looking forward to. But as you mentioned, it's going to be a good weekend to wrap those presents and eat lots of food. Definitely. I've been ready for Thanksgiving since Halloween, so bring yeah, it on. Bring it on, Mike. Thank you. Well, up next, more than 64.